At the heart of the vibrant city of Erbil in northern Iraq lies one of the longest continuously inhabited sites in the world. Rising up to 32 meters above the surrounding city, the citadel of Erbil reflect the cultural values of its successive inhabitants throughout its 8,000 years of history. As a living cultural monument, the citadel represents the identity of its actual Kurdish residents through the unique architecture of timber and marble and the affluent interior decoration of painted ornaments, colored glass windows, and carved doors. However, due to shatters, water movement, and steep oil slopes, the citadel of Erbil risks to be abandoned for the first time in history. It has been estimated that 40% of the buildings are in real danger, while 40% are already in ruins and 20% are in medium state. هذه القلعة اللي أنا وهم تركت حقيقة 30-40 سنة أهملت ما كان سكانها الأصليين باقين بها ما بها أصحاب تدير بارها عليها وتصونها وتديمها فخربت وكلها معرضة للتهدم وما معقولة كلها نقدر نعمرها ونبنيها ونرممها خلال سنة وسنتين The Kurdistan government has launched many endeavors and initiatives to rehabilitate the citadel to become an international archaeological site permanently. In 2007, the UNESCO's office in Iraq, in association with the High Commission for Erbil Citadel Revitalization, established a master plan and program to reactivate and rehabilitate the citadel and place it in the World Heritage List. طبعا اليونسكو هي جهه مختصه وخبيره في هذا المجال فالاعمال المهمه ذات الخصوصيه المعينه نعملها بالتعاون مع منظمه اليونسكو. Accordingly, UNESCO's office in Iraq launched a two-phase project for a total amount of approximately 15 million dollars. Phase 1 حقيقه ركزت بشكل اساسي على اعداد كل الدراسات والتقييمات المطلوبه للقلعه. وكذلك إعداد مخطط الحفاظ الأساسي Conservation Master Plan الفيس 2 اللي هو أيضا امتداد للفيس 1 تكملة للأعمال المطلوبة تكملة الدراسات اختيار حوالي 50 دار أخرى في القلعة قسم منها داخل القلعة وقسم منها على البدن الخارجي على السور الخارجي أيضا تدرس بتفصيل وإعداد دراساتها المطلوبة since the beginning of the project, UNESCO has achieved many accomplishments, such as restoration of a number of buildings located along the perimeter of the citadel, enforcing local capacities in the field of conservation and restoration techniques, ensuring the direct involvement of local personnel in the management, conservation and rehabilitation of the citadel undertaking urgent media works to prevent further damages, establishing a conservation master plan to provide the framework for the citadel's revitalization. The citadel's subscription on the tentative World Heritage List in 2010 and the preparation of the citadel's file for the World Heritage List final submission. <laughs> وليس فقط الحفاظ عليها كمباني تجريدية فيزيائية فارغة فضمن الخطة معنا ضمن الفيجن أنه القلعة خلال عشر سنوات إن شاء الله تتعمر وتكون بها كثير من الفعاليات اللي معروفة في داخل المراكز المدن القديمة فعاليات سياحية تراثية ثقافية عامة بحيث تجي أنت تتمشى بالقلعة وتلقي هذا الحياة اللي تعرف يعني المعروفة عن المراكز المدن القديمة the rehabilitation of Erbil Citadel aims at sustaining life in Erbil, expanding it and opening the way for economic investments in favor of sustainable development for the inhabitants. UNESCO also seeks to preserve the historical role of the citadel as it is considered an archaeological symbol and a main center to maintain the Kurdish identity. Thank you.